Today, we are going to cover how to upload a reference letter for an applicant through the online application system, Certamy. So first step is going to be, you should receive an email from the online application system, Certamy, so not from the ABWM directly. Um, the, the individual who has, has elected to use you as a reference has entered your name and email into the online application, which then generates an automatic email from Certamy to you, um, notifying you that uh, they would like you to submit a letter of reference. And there's some general information there as to what it is that we are looking for. So once you've received that email, you'll click on that. It'll take you to the website, um, the online application system. So there, if you don't already have an account, um, so you know if you've if you've certified with us, you already have an account under. Uh, your email, so uh, you may may just have to um, sign into your 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 account that you already have. Otherwise, you would go ahead and create an account. It's a quick process of name and email, um, create a password. Then you create your account. Once you've logged in, this is what the page, the page that we're looking at here. This is what it's going to look like once you have logged in. For those of you who are certified. Uh, you'll notice that the interface is a lot more uh, stripped down and, and, and basic compared to your professional profile. So you're logged in. You'll see here on the left hand side under professionals here where it says test case. This would be the name of the individual that has invited you to submit the letter of reference. So if you've done this more than once, you might have several names here. Otherwise, it's just going to be the one. So click on that on the left hand side. On the right here, you will see the instructions. Um, these are just some of the things to note as far as the letter. Make sure that you're touching on that three years of experience that's required. Um, you can use letterhead where possible. It's not essential. And then um, no older than six months as well. So go ahead and accept the invitation to provide that letter. You'll see that those options disappear here. Just click anywhere, anywhere here on the information that you see. It'll take you to this screen. Again, just some general instructions as you saw on the previous page. Here you're going to go ahead and, and upload the file that you wish to submit. So this would be the letter that you have saved. Um, it doesn't really matter what the format is. It can be a photograph of the of the physical letter that you have printed out. It can be a Word file, PDF, whatever the case may be. So click Browse. It'll bring up the option here to search your computer or, or, or devi mobile device, whatever it is that you're using to complete this to add the file. So here we have a test file. Go ahead and click on that. Open. Now it's been uploaded. This doesn't mean that you have submitted it, so be sure that once you've uploaded this that you do go ahead and submit it as well. So that's a common mistake is uploading the file but not actually submitting it. So go ahead and click submit. It'll just say that you've reached the number of entries that's required of you. Everybody should really only be assigned one entry, so this should be what you get. Confirm, submit, and there it has now been completed. 